All right, we are getting creative in the kitchen today with some ground venison. Right now, we're gonna make some venison cheeseburger meat pies. Okay, so the pies that we're making are a smaller sort of handheld pie. They're really great because you can make them ahead of time and you can eat them at home or you can fold them in tin foil, put them in the freezer, and when you're ready to go out, say you're going ice fishing or going for a little hike, you can bring it along with you. I've even reheated these things under the hood of my snow machine out on an ice fishing trip and it's just a really great snack to bring along with you. All right, so this one is sort of a two-part recipe, and what we're going to do is start with the cheese part of this recipe, and we're making a cheese sauce. So this is gonna be a sauce that you can use to drizzle on top or to dip your meat pie in. So I'm gonna start with a couple spoonfuls of butter and just get them melted down in this pot. Okay, so my butter is melted, and now I'm just gonna add a nice hefty spoonful of flour to this and just keep an eye on it. So I wanna make sure that I mix all the flour in nicely. The consistency should be, again, like somewhat like a pancake batter. And once you're there, you just wanna keep that heat on really gentle and turn this into like a bit of a creamy paste. But you just wanna get a little bit of that cook going on. It gets some heat on that flour so it cooks the flour. If you added your other ingredients right now, it'll have a bit of that floury taste to it. We just wanna make sure we cook it for just a minute to get that flour out. So that's starting to bubble away a little bit. And I'm just going to hit it with some Again, you can use milk or you can use cream here. I just have some 10% cream. So I'm gonna add about a quarter cup to that. As you'll see, as things start to warm up, it'll start to thicken up a little bit and that's exactly what you want. So there, we've got that kind of creamy consistency going. Now, I'm going to take a whole handful here of shredded, I've just got a old stinky cheddar cheese. I'm gonna throw a big handful of that in there and just make sure I can melt it all down with that roux that we've started to make. So as that's doing its thing, I've just got a really nice flavorful beer here and this is gonna give the cheese sauce a ton of amazing flavor. So I'm just gonna crack that beer and I'll probably pour about half of this can in there. And this just requires a little bit of patience. You don't wanna go too hot and burn the sauce. Just keep that heat going on a medium and pay attention to this. And you just want that beer to come up to temperature, slowly melt that cheese and then mix in with that flour and butter mixture. And as everything melts together, you'll see that it just turns into this beautiful sauce. So at this point, you can kind of control the thickness of the sauce. If it's looking a little runny, you can add another handful of cheese in there. If it's looking like it's a little too thick, go ahead and try a couple shots of beer in there, mix it in, let that temperature come back up. So this is what we've got. You wanna make sure that you've got a nice creamy sauce that sticks to the whisk. And now that this is finished, I'm just gonna take it off of the heat, put a lid on top so that we don't form a skin on it and that'll just be sitting there hot, waiting for us to finish up our cook on the rest of the food. Next, we're going to prepare the filling for our meat pies. All right, pan's looking nice and hot, so the bacon is going in. All right, so this bacon is looking crispy enough for me. I'm just gonna use that lubricated pan and toss my onions, celery in there, and we're gonna start to cook those down. There goes my onion, and in goes the chopped celery. Okay, onions and celery are looking nice and soft, so now I'm going to go in with a handful of chopped mushrooms and my garlic. I also have some chopped fresh thyme here, and that'll go in there right now as well. So now my mushrooms have some color on them. They're looking great. They've softened up a little bit. Now I'm just gonna add my one pound of ground venison meat to the pan, and we're just gonna cook this down until it's cooked through. All right, so my venison is all cooked. To en enhance the flavor a bit, we're gonna add another little shot of beer to this pan. I'm gonna put just a spoonful of butter in the middle. We'll hit this again with just another spoonful of flour and mix that around in the middle. And what that'll do, it'll, it'll just bring all of those liquid ingredients back together and we'll have a nice gravy that'll start to coat all of that meat. Meat is done and now it's just going to go into a bowl to cool for a couple minutes. What we need is some puff pastry. So you can buy these things at literally any grocery store. Now, once that logs out of the bag, you just unroll it like so. So there's nothing complicated with this. Cut it in half. Now that my meat mixture's had a minute to cool down, I'm gonna start filling these things 
And what I'm gonna do is I just wanna fill half and I don't wanna go all the way to the edge because we're gonna use those edges to seal up the pastry. Okay, so I'm grabbing my filling and just making sure that I leave about a half inch boundary along the edges so that I can seal the pastry properly. And then these are cheeseburger pies. So I'm gonna put some more of that shredded cheddar on top. And now I'm gonna do the fold and seal. All right, so I'll fold this half over and stretch it any little bit that I need to just to make sure that I line up all the edges. And I'm just gonna pull those edges down so they're nice and tight. And while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna squeeze any little bit of air out of it as well. And to seal those edges, I'm just gonna make sure that I pinch down with my fingers and take a fork and just press down on those edges to make sure everything's sealed nice and tight. If you're finding that your fork's sticking a little bit to the pastry, it does get a little bit sticky as it warms up. Just dip your fork in the flour and just press down like that and then your fork won't stick. And there's pie number one. So I'm just gonna take this and put it down on a parchment lined baking sheet and it's ready to go in the oven. All right, these things are stuffed. Now just to make sure that they don't explode in the oven while they're releasing steam, we just wanna make sure that they have an opportunity to get rid of any of that steam. So I've just got a little sharp knife. I'm just gonna make a couple cuts on top. My oven is preheated at 375. These are gonna go in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. And we'll just keep an eye on them. Once they're golden brown, they're ready to go. All right, we've been in the oven for about half an hour. Some ovens can be a little bit different with their temperatures. So this one, I kept an eye on them. They're looking crispy and crunchy and golden brown. And that took about half an hour. So I'm gonna pull these out. So all I'm gonna do is just cut these guys in half. Now at this point, Again, you can wrap these things in foil, stick them in the freezer, they freeze really well. And when you're ready to pull them out, you can throw them in the oven. You can take that foil wrapper and heat it up over your heater in your ice fishing shack. Pretty much heat them up anywhere, stuff it in the oven for another half an hour and it'll be good to go. I'm just gonna cut this one in half and take a look inside. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. <whistles> this flaky pie crust with that cheese melted on top is gonna be insane. So I'm just gonna plate these up. And the best part is you can take this and you can dip it into your beer and cheese here, or you can just drizzle a little bit on top, make them look all pretty. Sprinkle a couple of jalapenos on there. All right, so there you have it. These are wild game bacon cheeseburger meat pies. For more information on this recipe, check out the blog post link below. <laughs>